Hey, welcome back to KM6 LYW Radio, the show about amateur radio or ham radio, reimagining radio in the information age. Hey, today we're going to take a look at some ham-made stuff, some people out there making some cool hardware, really advancing the art of amateur radio, this time on KM6 LYW Radio. <music> All right, welcome back. I don't know where to stop. That just goes over and over. Yeah, we're still picking up some new jingles, some new free bumper music. Hey, let's check out some stuff you can either procure cheaply or even make at home uh, here on KM6 LYW Radio. So you guys probably noticed my new guitar strap here. It's a guitar strap that has my call sign embroidered on it. Pretty cool. This guitar strap is unusual in that it actually has a BNC connector on it. I think you guys can see that. A BNC connector. And it's riveted to some uh, Faraday uh, fabric, uh, some EMP cloth, I guess. And if you look even closer, it is sewn together as a roll-up J-pole. How cool is that? So this is a literally a J-pole antenna you can roll up. It's just fantastic. And I, I just uh, I was using it out on the patio here. In fact, I just you can hang it like from the patio umbrella or something. Um, and hook your HT up to it. I'm going to hook up a SWR meter and just uh, just to see this is less than an ideal situation. But it is a full length J pole, and just holding it like this, I'm getting about a 1.2 to 1 SWR on the meter. Uh, this is ultra light. This is something I would take into the field for summits on the air, backpacking. It's full length. Um, we had some conversations about how maybe we could fold it uh, like this so we could do like a folded J pole, like a Slim Jim type of configuration. I don't know, mess with it. I have no sewing capabilities. Um, so that is totally cool. I, I love it, and I, I like the fact you can put your call sign on it. It's fantastic. Now, that is an innovative antenna, and it totally works. So check out vfcoms.com. This is a commercial product. Uh, he's making these quick. They're made in America, North America specifically, Canada. So Canadian-made. Well, I guess that gave away with the, the VE call sign there. Totally cool. So another uh, item that I have been looking at is a, you know, everyone's asking for a case for a DigiPi. Well, Masters Communications, not only did they design the uh, DRA Pi Zero hat that works with DigiPi. In fact, I got one right here. This is an audio and push to talk board that you put on a Raspberry Pi and gives you access to every digital mode there is um, with the digipi.org SD card image. But check out this case he made. This is totally cool. I just, I lack the cognitive capacity to make, to design cool 3D objects here. But here we are at Masters Communications, made an awesome case here, and they are selling this for 15 bucks. Um, you can't download it, but it's worth every penny of $15. You can see how it, how it works. So this kind of, it works perfectly with the Raspberry Pi Zero, the DRA Pi Zero hat, and the little... Uh, this is like this is like Legos for ham radio. So you get a Raspberry Pi Zero, you get the DRA Pi Zero hat, and you smash these together like this, like Legos. Some mentioned this is like Legos on our Discord channel. All right, so now we got a Raspberry Pi and an audio push to talk board um, with a DIN six for your radio here, and then you can also put the optional little screen on here, which is totally fun. This is just like twelve bucks. You know, we're only talking about what forty dollars worth of outlay here. I don't know. No, that the, the Master's communication is pretty cool. It's a little it costs a little more expensive than that. All right, and then we got the DigiPi there, but this is kind of you know it's fragile. You don't want to mess with it, so um, you can actually put it in this cool case from Master's Communication. So and it perfectly fits this combination of equipment. You slide it in there like that. You take a little lid, slap that on there, and you are good to go. You actually have a commercial-looking amateur radio project. You know, my mom used to say when I was experimenting with electronics, she says, you know, it's cool and all, but it looks like an early radio experiment. You know, it's not sexy. It's not cool. It doesn't look like a product, but that to me looks like a product. And this little device, you can hook up to any radio and gives you access to every data mode there is. So kudos to Masters Communications, a really nice device. That's masterscommunications.com, $15. Um, so get the, the DRA Pi Zero hat there. Get your Raspberry Pi Zero on the little screen, and you've got a very professional-looking uh, DigiPi. 
Um, so that was uh, that. That was that. And you know, there's one object I actually made. This is my silly contribution, but it's something I've been working on for a while. So I have a signal stick, HT here. Let me make make myself bigger. Um, and what I like to do is hang this like in a tree, you know, and put a little small length of BNC on there. But I never came up with a way to hang this in a tree. And I was looking for, I, I would like tie stuff onto here is, is just a hassle. So eventually I found a piece of an expired credit card, preferably expired, cut up a piece of credit card and bend it into this shape. Okay. And you can actually, the credit cards are fascinating materials because they're laminated into layers. They hold their shape. So what you can do is just kind of wrap this around like a screwdriver and then heat it gently. <laughs> I, I went through a few credit cards gently uh, and at the, on the outer layer, which will expand and it will hold its shape. So this is surprisingly rigid and ultimately, very light and so i know what you're thinking why'd you cut up a credit card so you just take it take your antenna like this kind of fold it like this and it actually grabs into the shrink tubing um, and it is incredibly secure and now you have a hook <laughs> for your your signal stick and you just hang that on a tree branch and then you know given the rigidity of this you can actually reach up pretty high Get that up in a tree bench, hang it right there. It really has no impact on the SWR, and it is solid. I mean, I'm, I'm tugging on that. So a piece of credit card, ultra light, super useful. I don't need any string. You know, I don't have to throw guy lines over strings if I'm, if I'm in the field. You know, trying to get my my signal stick up in the air. Pretty cool. So back on the DigiPi case thing, if you have a DigiPi hat, I can't believe people are making hardware that supports the DigiPi software. It's usually the other way around, right? <laughs> you have to write software that works with existing hardware. So if you have a DigiPi hat device, this is for your full-size Raspberry Pi, Pi 4, Pi 5, uh, elekitsorparts.com is making a killer case here as well. How about this? Look look at this. Check this out. Um, and it, there's an actual picture of it up here somewhere. Um, it supports the uh, the GPS and I don't know if I can make this bigger. The GPS and pressure sensor uh, uh, and temperature sensor. It's just I mean it looks a little like an early radio experiment, but you know it keeps your DigiPi all safe and, and warm, or I might even say hot. No, it doesn't even keep it hot because look at all the the nice ventilation he put in into it. So a DigiPi hat case from Ella Kits or Parts. Um, I think this one you can actually print yourself. You probably correct me. Uh, at Masters Communications, just spend the $15. It's totally worth worth it. Absolutely worth it for their case. Um, and also, if we're still talking about cases here, just go to thingiverse.com. T-H-I-N-G-I V-E-R-S-E dot -E com. I don't know why it has the weird spelling. And just search for DigiPi up here, okay? And you are going to see some cool DigiPi cases. Check this one out. Um, this one has works with some interesting hardware here. Um, you can see the screens on. And uh, who's who's make this? Gag, Gagulik? Gagulik? I'm not saying that right. It's kind of cool handle, though. So th this is a DigiPi case. It works with this uh, radio interface adapter. You see our screen, sound card, Pi. He's even got a battery uh, this looks not the uh, pie sugar, but the wave share battery, I think on the bottom of that cool DigiPi case, right? It's just fantastic. Something you can print yourself. This is handmade. These are people that are advancing the art of amateur radio. So I think this is fantastic. You guys are doing a great job building hardware in support of DigiPi. I, I'm not a hardware person. I am a, uh, I'm definitely a software guy. <laughs> All right. So this has been like part two of the ham made, uh, YouTube series for, for handmade uh, hardware and hacks and, and products. Um, you guys let me know what you're coming up with. Um, it's really not about the big commercial manufacturers, you know, moving ham radio forward. It's really about you guys, uh, software, hardware. Uh, let's make some cool ham radio stuff, the stuff you can make at home is, is even better. Cheaper the better. I love it. So um, so this uh, is digipi.org. I know we talked about digipi a little bit today. Uh, this goes to patrons of the channel. If you're a patron of KM6LYW Radio, you get access to the digipi and you can see a screenshot. Actually, it's on running on the digipi hat here. Um, you, you insert the uh, DigiPi SD card into any Raspberry Pi, uh, turn it on, configure it, and it's all manageable with a web browser or your phone or tablet. Um, you don't need to know Linux or any command line stuff. And you hook DigiPi up to your radio, 
any radio, and it gives you access to every data mode there is, all via Wi-Fi, all over your web browser, digipi.org for that. And it goes to patrons of the channel, speaking of which, you guys are awesome. Um, there's almost too many to scroll through. You know, I remember when I first started this <laughs> channel, I would actually read all the names. Um, I'm not sure I can do that now. So I'm interested in what you guys think about ham-made radio equipment. Um, I'm always looking for something that's cheaper, lighter, more effective, higher gain, lower power, or if your battery, I guess, higher power. Uh, but there's, we're really seeing some cool advancements in amateur radio right now because of you guys. Hey, my name is Craig. I'm in California. Amateur radio call sign KM6LYW, and I am clear. <laughs>